Great to see you here again. In this new chapter, we're going to talk about continuous probability distributions. And in this first presentation, I will show you what's the difference between discrete and continuous probability distributions. But before we continue, click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and whenever we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. In the previous chapter, in the previous presentations, we looked at discrete variables. Basically, these are variables that are countable. And when we look at continuous probability distributions, we're going to consider variables that can take any value. For example, we have the time to do a job, dimension of parts, volumes, interest rates, product parameters, and many others. We encounter a lot of values that are basically continuous and that cannot be represented by the discrete probability distributions. Probability distributions, when we have a continuous variables, we have, in fact, what we call a probability density function. And it defines a curve, a continuous curve, in contradiction or contrary to the distribution of the discrete random variables, where the probability of each variable is represented by a rectangle. Let's have a look at a few examples here. Here we have some discrete distributions. Here we see the histogram with those different rectangles showing the percentages for those discrete variables. Here we go from 0 to 7, for example, 0 to 7 defects. The other one is another example of a discrete probability distribution. Again, we have those discrete values, 0 up to 4 here. And now we have the density function, the probability density function, where the x values are basically continuous. And using this will give us access to more applications. We will see different distributions that we can use to represent the probability of continuous variables. That was it for this short introduction. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and whenever YouTube has a new video from the Custer Academy, they will inform you about it. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.